George and I had a bit of a hard time getting pregnant. It was not as easy for us as it was for other families. When we got pregnant, it was right around George's birthday, and it was like the best gift we could have had for him. We had a pretty smooth pregnancy for the most part up until about February. I noticed it was hard walking around um, and just kind of being like, either I was really tired all day long or I was oh, like really lethargic. I remember being there and it was very, very quiet. I felt very numb. I felt very kind of out of body, if you will. And a nurse walked in and I wish I had gotten her name. She came over and she touched my arm and said, you did nothing wrong. Whatever happened, happened. And it's not your fault. You didn't do anything to deserve this. This is just, this just happens. And I think, I think that nurse particularly every day because I could be really beating myself up that I physically, that I physically did something to hurt my kids. And because it was so hard to get pregnant, so hard to have them, to know that at the finish line I did something wrong would have been devastating. But to have her just say to me, I did nothing. This is just, this is just life. I mean, this is just the journey you're on. She saved me that day and it was just, it just started the most beautiful relationship for me with the Brigham because I knew that they were not only concerned about my kids and making sure that they were safe and healthy, but they were worried about George and I. Aww. Aww. smooch? Aww. They're healthy, they're big, they're strong, and nobody believes that they were nicking the babies born at two pounds, two ounces for our daughter and two pounds, eight ounces for our son. Nobody believes that, looking at them now. The Brigham did a, they did an all-star job. Everything from the medical treatment, to the personal attention, to the holding, you know, holding our hands through things. I couldn't have asked for anything better. They're miracles. They're absolute miracles. And I thank God every day, and I thank the nurses and the doctors at the Brigham for, for every sweat, every little tear they wiped away that they, that they put into our children so they could be where they are today.